Thank you all so much for clicking on this video. My name is Keila Trishan and I make videos on lifestyle, womanhood, and mental health. So if those are some things that interest you, please feel free to click on that subscribe button below and make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So today's video is gonna be about recovering from a C-section. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that a C-section is major surgery. So the good thing is at the end, you have your beautiful baby, but it is a major surgery and you need to take steps uh, to make sure that you are healthy so you can be there for your baby and so you can feel your best throughout that time. I put together a list of seven tips that I have that work for me after my C-section that I hope work for you too. Okay, so the first thing and the most important thing I think is to make sure that you walk around as soon as you're cleared to do so. I'm gonna be honest with you, it is uncomfortable, you're gonna be sore, but you need to do it. The reason being is things are kind of moved around a little bit once, you, um, once you've had your C-section. They may have had to move around organs to pull your baby out and your body is trying to connect again. And so walking around honestly is just gonna help you heal so much better. You're gonna notice that every time you do it, you feel that much better than the last time and it's also gonna help you to feel strong and not become stiff. So just make sure as much as possible, you're getting up and just, just walking around and trying to get back into the groove of things, you will thank yourself later. The second tip that I have is to take your medication as prescribed. Okay, so I'm the type of person that I don't like to take medication. Even if I have a headache, if I can, you know, thug it out, then I will. But after having a C-section, understand that you're still responsible for your baby, but you also need to heal. And it's much easier to stay on top of the pain than it is to try to, um, alleviate it once you've already kind of missed your meds so for example i was prescribed ibuprofen and i was prescribed tylenol i was kind of taking them on top of each other they told me to take the ibuprofen i believe it was like every six hours and then every four hours take the tylenol the reason why you do this is because the ibuprofen is usually a little bit stronger but the tylenol will help just in case it's starting to wear off and you can't take that ibuprofen again the Tylenol will come in and save you until you can take the ibuprofen again. I made the mistake of thinking that I was good to go. I think I got so comfortable because they make you feel comfortable in the hospital. So you're going to be good the, for the time that you're there. You'll be a little sore, but it's not going to be that bad because they have the good stuff. But you can't stay on that stuff forever. So when you get home, you know, you have your, your prescription meds. That's besides the point. I made the mistake one day of not taking my meds as prescribed because I thought that I was okay and I wasn't. I found myself in excruciating pain. And you know, by the time I took the medicine again, it took me a good, like maybe hour or so to feel normal again. You don't wanna do that, especially if you don't have anyone helping you with your baby. You just wanna stay on top of that pain so you can be your best self. Definitely, as time goes on, you'll start to see that you feel better, but at least that first week, take your medication. Trust me. Okay, so the third uh, tip I have for you for recovering from a C-section is to eat plenty of fiber. I know for me, when I was pregnant, I didn't really eat the way I normally do. I just didn't, like my appetite was just not the same. Um, it's different for everybody. But when once I had an opportunity to eat after I had the baby, I was just eating whatever. You want to eat plenty of fiber because like everybody says that the first number two after uh, having a baby is difficult. And honestly, like it, it just kind of depends on you and it depends on, you know, your pain, your pain threshold. But if you eat fiber and if you're making sure that you're keeping that in your diet, things will be a lot easier for you and you'll get back to normal as soon as possible. You want to eat fiber like anyway like even if you're not recovering from a c-section but especially then you just want to make things as easy as possible so you're not straining that's the last thing you want to do with an open wound that close to that area all right so the fourth tip i have is to make sure that you get as much rest as possible so i know i said that you need to be walking around often which is true but understand that you just had surgery and so the best way to recover from something like that is to get rest and it's gonna be a lot, obviously, because you have a new baby, you have to take care of your baby, but 
understand that your baby needs you too and it's important to take care of yourself as much as it's important to take care of the baby so my suggestion is um it sounds cliche but sleep when they sleep they sleep a lot so don't like worry about other things that you need to do right now your priority needs to be getting better and taking care of the baby so make sure that you rest as much as possible walk rest walk rest repeat the uh fifth tip that i have and they're going to tell you this too uh whatever hospital you go to but don't lift anything heavier than your baby this is going to be standard for any type of abdominal surgery but um depending on depending on how things go you're going to either have stitches staples um skin glue you know whatever uh, but it's very tender the first several days and so you want to make sure that you're not doing anything to further injure yourself and also remember that they had to cut through several layers so they cut through your skin they cut through your uterus um you know to, to get your baby so you're also healing on the inside so even when you are healed on the outside sometimes the inside takes a little bit longer so you just want to be careful that you're not straining and putting just any additional weight on a wound that is not fully healed the next tip i have is when help is offered take it i think a lot of women are so used to multitasking that even when we feel bad even when we're not at our best we still don't accept help let me just tell you that that is not something that's going to help you during this time if you have somebody that's offering to bring you food take it if you have somebody that's offering to watch your other children if you have any other kids that you have to care for accept it if you have someone that is offering to run errands take it if you don't accept help any other time accept it now because you got to get better and um i feel like sometimes things not getting done gives us anxiety i know that not everybody is blessed to have additional help but if you do accept their help and you know return the favor in the future if that's what you feel you need to do but people are here to help you and um just don't turn it down take that help and, and get yourself better so the last i think that's the last one yeah the last tip that i have is to have something like a brace or a pillow around your belly the reason why I say that is because like you're a human being, you're going to cough, you're going to sneeze. Um, and God forbid you sneeze or cough without something to brace your belly. Oh my God. It's the most excruciating pain. It is excruciating. Like it literally feels like your stomach is going to bust open and you don't want that. So when you're coughing or sneezing, like you want to make sure that you have something by you that you can press and kind of like hold your stomach taut while um while you're coughing or sneezing because like things just you just got cut open and you're gonna need something to brace yourself when you do those normal bodily functions so um my biggest tip is like for me I, I would just use a pillow or if I didn't have a pillow by me I would just take my hand and just kind of like push it in and cough and then that even though it was still sore it would alleviate a lot of the additional soreness that I would feel had I not done that well, ladies, that's all I have for today on tips for recovering from a C-section. If you have any uh, tips or tricks that you use when you're recovering from a C-section, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. With that being said, you all have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.